This, this, you know what? This is actually one of the funner NFL rivalries. They don't want to say anything about it, but Seattle versus um, LA has always been fun in all senses of the word. From the days when it used to be the Sonics and the Lakers, the days as the Angels and the Mariners, you know what I mean? Uh, the old Seahawks Raider games that we used to have. Oh, and also the old Seahawks Charger games we used to have as well, too. Always a lot of fun. So Seattle is kind of a, a, a quiet rival on the Pacific when it comes to uh, L.A. team. So pretty much um, this is always a fun game, always a game that you say to yourself that, you know, it looks like it's going to be a blowout, but it winds up not even being like that. But I think this year, though, with the way that the Rams are approaching this season, the Rams are a team that are not going to be good the first eight weeks of the year, Jeff. I'm going to keep it real with you. It's one of those situations with them. They'll probably win two out of eight, two out of those games, two, two out of eight of those games to start the year off. But then when they get to the second half, that's when they become a better team because then they'll have all the players in place that really want to play and really get things done. And they'll have it to where, you know, everybody's comfortable, but at, this point now they're going to really struggle and i think seattle just has a team that really does present the a dark horse super bowl contender and i feel like they're going to be able to show that off a bit when we get to this game on sunday so i'm taking the uh seahawks with the five and a half to go ahead and uh clean up on the rams a little bit jeff your thoughts this is, a, again, another train wreck waiting to happen. Rams just so dysfunctional all preseason. Uh, nagging injuries with Stafford. Uh, uh, no Cooper Cup. Uh, uh, there's just nothing to gravitate to, yet this is under a seven. Uh, it did peak as high as six and a half. Uh, let me see what I got for numbers right now. True number five and 47, flat fives at 46. Uh, this game, the Seahawks is supposed to dominate this 27-20, 27-17. This should be, you know, um, the Legion of Boom. Uh, Seahawks are supposed to be able to do whatever the hell they want. This is a late-night special, meaning an afternoon after you get crushed at one. Um, it is what it is. Uh, uh, I got Seahawks minus five. I bought the hook, but we know what happens uh, at the 4 o'clock games. Uh, so uh, don't be shocked if something crazy happens. Hopefully it's not this game. Got the Seahawks winning this game rather comfortably, Pops. All right. All right, all right, all right. So Jeff got his pick on the Seahawks minus five. And, um, you know, both of us know that you don't want to just toss away the Rams like that, but we know the Rams are not in any type of shape to really be one of those teams this year. It's just no. It's just there's a lot that they, they got to rebuild this thing and they got to rebuild it kind of slowly because of what McVay did. You know, McVay gave away so much to bring in guys that were rentals. You know what I mean? OBJ, rental, Ramsey, really at the end of the day, he was a lease, not a, you know, it's, <laughs> he was a lease. And Von Miller was a rental. You know what I mean? And you gave up picks, you gave up a lot of assets to get these players who ain't here no more. So Raiders, Broncos, one of the funnest rivalries in all the sports. And, you know, the Broncos and Raiders, one of the more heated rivalries, too, because these fan bases, I'm telling you, Jeff, being here in California and as many Broncos fans as we have in the state of California with Raiders fans, that can get really ugly at some of these bars. You know what I mean? It really does turn into a gang situation with the Broncos and the Raiders. I've seen it. I've seen it. That's what only 